Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jacob. And I'm Nick. And together we are the Shonen, Shonen Bros. Bros. And today we're going to be getting into Chainsaw Man Season 1, Episode 7. Oh yeah, in last episode, Deji was like, ah, screw it. And just, <laughs> just, <Yeah. laughs> just, just like literally, now I'm free, like free, and just free falling into um, the Eternity Devil's mouth which we figured out that's what it was last episode we were kind of like speculating like oh what could it be well apparently it's eternity which mm -hmm. is a very scary thing if you think about it if you're on the wrong side of the spectrum right if you're on the wrong side of that so um obviously in this case they're on the wrong side of that and uh yeah so now they're kind of they were stuck in the hotel um Kobody obviously was um having a mental breakdown um yeah. <laughs> like freaking like going insane which is kind of i don't know i found it kind of weird because she's with the the organization right so i'm just curious how she is <laughs> you know yeah well we kind of we kind of found out that she was kind of forced into that role because her, her i guess her parents wanted her to pay for her brother's college and that kind of like earned the best money but <laughs> but still uh, though yeah, I, I, it's still not a very good fit for her. Right, and um, then uh, what was his name? Horai? Is that his name? Horai? Uh, Arai? Horai? Horai? Arai. Yeah, Horai. Um, obviously, he's like the protect, kind of like the, um, I guess, the, the more speculator than kind of like in the group. Very, you know, I guess, I guess, yeah, he actually did notice it first. He's very observant. He kind of knew like something was wrong when he went up the stairs and just saw them again so um yeah so you know he's trying to calm her down but they're all on board for killing denji because right uh, the eternity devil wants him for some reason yeah and we kind of speculated that um obviously they they said in in like a couple episodes ago that eating part of the gun devil's flesh would make a, the, like whichever devil ate it it would make them stronger so i'm kind of wondering if it works the same way just you know for other devils uh so like if this eternity devil eats the chainsaw devil it'd probably become even stronger that's probably what it's kind of thinking what it wants so yeah i'm just really interested to see what's gonna happen next because we know that chains uh the chainsaw man denji uh he jumped into the eternity devil's mouth um I mean, pretty much everyone wanted him to, ex <laughs> I mean, pretty much everyone wanted him to, but yeah, I mean, it was just very weird. So, I I, I mean, I, I'm sure he's not dead or anything like that. He's going to find a way to get out, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, Aki, Aki, surprisingly, was pretty much the only one that didn't want to kill him because Kobeni basically tried to stab him with a knife, but she stabbed Aki on, on an accident. Uh, Arai wanted to throw him into the mouth immediately. Um, you know, power is, a uh, She's power. Um, and then, you know, there was Jimeno, which kind of just, like, she didn't want to throw him in. She, like, tried to find alternate ways, but obviously it was kind of the only way without allowing Aki to use his sword. Because that was kind of her big thing. Like, oh, I won't allow Aki to use his sword under any circumstances. Because apparently it takes some years off of his life. And she wants him to live a very long life. So, yeah, I mean, I kind of understand that. But, I mean, you're just kind of throwing Denji under the bus there. So, <laughs> uh, not uh, the greatest of plans. I'm not sure Makima would be too happy about that. You know, Denji at this point, he's like, dude, you know what? Yeah, screw it. <laughs> I mean, look, I got what I wanted for a little bit. I, um, even though it was pretty dumb, but, you know, I got what I wanted, and he's, you know, thinking to himself, like, all right, yep, screw it, I'm gonna jump, just jumps in, and, and I think why he's doing it is because as soon as he goes in the mouth, he's just gonna activate, uh, his chainsaw, and it's gonna cut right through, so maybe that's why he's doing that. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, like, I'm sure he has some sort of plan, like, what you're saying, he's just gonna activate his chainsaws and start cutting, um... But, yeah, I mean, the Eternity Devil seems pretty strong. And we have seen in the past that the more you 
try to destroy it, the bigger it grows. But uh, I'm assuming his plan is to cut it from the inside, and maybe maybe it doesn't grow like that. Um, right. You know, just kind of one theory. But other than that, I don't really know possibly what he could do. So I'm, I'm kind of assuming that's just it. He's going to go inside. He, you know, he j already jumped inside. He's going to go inside, cut around. He's going to uh, kill the devil, and they're going to escape and find maybe uh, another part of the gun devil flesh, right? Because we, we definitely know one of one was there. Yeah, and if they find the, the gun devil flesh, uh, they might be able to use it to find where this gun devil is. Um, because I know that's like their main mission, to find where it is to kill it. So that, that obviously would be a great plus, but again, the question is like, with De with Denji, it's not like guaranteed what what he's gonna do. So you know, I'm just really curious um, what he's actually gonna do with this uh, free falling into the mouth. Yeah, exactly. And you know, I'm they obviously like you said, their their main goal is to kill the gun devil, and that's I'm sure like I, we already know it's Rocky's main goal too, because uh, of what happened to him right um but denji doesn't really know anything about this gun devil so i'm assuming that he's not really gonna know like anything about it like aki's gonna try to convince him to like uh join him in his endeavors to try to kill the gun devil because we we saw aki last episode he's, he's like uh, he took a knife for denji saying oh we need people like him people that can uh stand up to the gun devil because aki knows he can't do it by himself so he's going to start recruiting people, and I, I assume that's what the special division is actually for, to find and kill the gun devil. What I don't know is why some of them are in the special division. Like, uh, yeah, Denji, Denji can transform into Chainsaw Man. Power is a fiend who is like the, the blood devil. And yeah, Aki has a contract with the fox devil. And Himeno has a contract with a freaking ghost hand. But, uh, you know, Kobeni and Arai, we haven't really right. seen anything that would indicate why they're a part of this special division. They just seem like normal people to me. Right. I don't know. We might we might get something in the future that says, oh, they, uh, they have a contract with such and such devil. Or they have this certain power, that's why they're in the special division. But uh, up until this point, I don't really know why they're a part of this special division. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, you make a good point about that. Yeah, that hasn't really been said, but I'm sure in the future episodes they will clarify um, that maybe even this episode too. But right now, I'm just really excited to see um, how Denji kills this Eternity Devil. That's right, guys. And if you want to see some more of our Chainsaw Man reactions, make sure you guys hit that subscribe and the like button. Go ahead and click the notification bell to be notified when we release some more content. Uh, click all the links in the descriptions for all our social media links. And yeah, just comment down below what other anime openings, endings, just other anime content in general you just want us rea uh, to react to. And uh, yeah, now without further ado, let's get into Chainsaw Man Season 1, Episode 7. And now he's gonna jump in. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah, dude, this is a... Uh... Oh, that's blood. He definitely bit into him. What the heck? Right. Oh, this is the... This is ending three. Yeah. Oh, what the... Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, like, dude, I don't get me wrong. I like ending three, but I'm, if I'm honest, I think it actually works better as an OST right here. <laughs> yeah, facts. It cop it, it actually complements it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what can he do? Just the more he cuts it up, the stronger it's going to get. Bruh. Dude. Okay. Dodok Mirai, beautiful star. Oh no. Okay, he's not doing too well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the? Oh. Oh, 
It works. <laughs> the insane ones. Also, who is that guy? He's not normal. Also, this guy has some very interesting scars. Yeah. Uh, he has the Joker scars. <laughs> Effects. No, he's not going to take that. I mean, yeah, the only thing he really wants is the gun devil. Right. And the only way he's going to be able to do that is in public safety, not private. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Bro. Huh. Is he still going? <laughs> oh, right. I think that was his plan, right? Just to, like keep hurting it so it'll just want to stop fighting him right because it does still feel pain couple hours maybe three days and he's still going has he been fighting for three days yeah <laughs> and he's just been drinking its blood so he's able to keep going wait so is that like a new thing now I guess. Oh, oh, they made it out. Oh, they made it out. Dude, okay. that is just. <laughs> imagine you're just walking by, you just see that coming out of a hotel. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. I want to see Denji eat part of the Gun Devil's flesh so he becomes stronger. Oh, yeah. Great idea. Yeah, that's actually really OP now. Like, he could just be in that form forever, technically. Yeah, well, I mean, as long as he keeps drinking blood. Which is very easy. Because <laughs> he's Chainsaw Man. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not suited for this kind of thing. Yeah, of course he does. デンジ君と何者だと思う相手の悪魔がデンジ君のこと知ってたみたいだしあの牧間さんがデンジ君を気にかけてるわけ。いや、ヒーズスペシャル。牧間さん呼ばせて聞いてみようか。あ、みんな
あ、わお。トシさんところ新人を残念ですが、昨日亡くなりました。ほれ、方言下京。まあ、バンバン死んでたよね。レンジ君は私とキスしたいから死なないもんね。ちゅうりちゅう。おまいガッシュ。みんな
but like literally it's like like uh, the cutscene of him like saying oh dude look at them eating the you know the the vomit oh my gosh and then he cuts to him vomiting but then it's like like a really like it's supposed it's like a wholesome moment almost <laughs> and he says puking yeah <laughs> oh no he's like yeah yep. yeah this uh... <laughs> He's like, yeah, my, uh, yeah, I knew I have a good method of, uh, not like knowing how to like, like get all of it out, like in a safe way, in a good way. So it's not like choking you up. And he's like, yeah, I'm low key jealous. And he's like, dude, it's like my first kiss ended up with that bro. And you're jealous right now. <laughs> and he's just, just freaking. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? This uh, chainsaw man is, uh, it's good, but it's weird in its own way. It's just very weird from like typical anime right especially where, for popular like, oh, anime. yeah exactly i was like oh we're killing the eternity devil you know uh denji can do it uh he's drinking blood he's swinging and the devil gives up because you know it feels too much pain or whatever uh and then literally like two minutes later we have denji getting barf puked into his mouth we're just like well okay dude uh, it was a little weird, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this show's definitely interesting. Uh, I don't I don't even know what to say really because I don't know. Like, I don't I don't even know really what to say about the show. Like, yeah, it's good, but it's like it is very weird. So like, I do I do appreciate the action and like the uh, the animation is like top notch quality as as well as the music, dude. Like the music is is fantastic as well. Like Mappa always does such a such a good job with like every show they do. Um, but the, uh, the story is something that we really haven't really seen before. It's kind of like unlike any story we've really seen, where this man is down on his luck. He gets a contract with the devil. Now he's the Chainsaw Man, and I don't I don't know if this is just me or maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I feel like like specifically with makima but with like pretty much any girl that is in the show they're like manipulating him you know what i mean right they just i don't know they're just taking advantage of him like spe specifically with makima of course but like even himenel and uh pa power not that much because you know she's she's again she's just power right. but um but i feel like just you know i feel like it's just man why do they gotta do that to denji man like he, he didn't raise up normally and they just gotta like lead him along and they gotta uh, manipulate him in their own ways and I, I don't know i just i just feel kind of bad for denji yeah i mean right now he doesn't care but soon he is gonna care and then when that hits him it's gonna be like dang you know i let them use me for what mm -hmm. right because yeah. once he kills the all that like all the gun devil right and then after whatever happens with him and makima and all that is over it's like dang all that was for nothing yes yeah and like kind of like that like every goal that we've seen him have so far like when he's completed his goal he's achieved his goal he it just kind of feels like empty and shallow for him which is like mm -hmm. he's got to find something that is fulfilling that when he achieves his goal is gonna make him feel good not be like oh that was it like i didn't yeah i didn't really it didn't really feel that good so yeah i mean like he's achieved his goals yeah but they're not really anything that's given him meaning that's given him purpose so i really i really want to find him i really want to see him find that goal where it's like uh, kind of like what, what aki has like he has that main goal like i want right. to kill the gun devil because he murdered my family and you know 1.2 million other people but you know he kind of has to get like a goal like that where it's a permanent goal way into the future like he knows he can't do it by himself but he's got to work hard get friends and eventually he'll get there not kind of like these goals where it's like oh yeah it's happened in the first five episodes you know he's got to have that main goal he's got to have the the goal the mindset to look forward to the future and be like yeah I want this specifically, and I know when I achieve it, it's going to make me feel good. I know I'm going to work hard for it, and that's why it's it's going to feel good. So, like, the goal, like I'm saying right now, the goals he, he achieved, like, he didn't really work hard for it. He's just going to, 
oh i won't i won't say he, he didn't work hard for it but i'm just saying like they're they're not really goals that you could look into the future and feel good about once you achieve them yeah and hopefully you know within these next coming episodes we can actually actually after he kills the dung gun devil he's gonna have to get the new goal so when that happens i can't wait to see kind of uh what permanent goal like you were talking about he's gonna kind of have next to propel him in that good direction of of how to work hard for something and actually achieving it and uh yeah guys if you guys want to see more chainsaw man content like this video right here then make sure you guys like and subscribe make sure you guys also as well as click on the notification bell to be notified when we release new content and uh thank you guys for all the support on chainsaw man so far really do appreciate every single one of you guys we will see you guys in the next video peace